here are eight things that people often unknowingly do that hinder them from receiving the blessings that God wants to give them. And if you haven't heard, there's only a few more days to enroll in my relationship training courses at AGW University. These are self-paced online courses that I designed for Christian adults who are single but want relationship advice to help them meet the right person that God may have for them. For more information about this unique opportunity, the deadline, and the huge scholarship that I'm offering, feel free to click the link in the description of this video. Number one, they have a poor application of the theological truths about God's sovereignty and man's responsibility. Some do too much and some don't do enough. Some just pray and some just work hard. But when you're rightly applying what the Bible says about both of these topics, you realize that there's not this either or option, but rather you're going to work hard in faith while also fully trusting and knowing that anything good is ultimately because God is doing it. As Colossians 1.29 states, For this I toil, struggling with all his energy that he powerfully works within me. Number two, they are following a bad teaching. The only teacher that's always right and never wrong is Jesus himself. Ideally, as Christians, we're following leaders and teachers who are mostly right, especially when it comes to the most important gospel truths. But again, we shouldn't expect them to always be right. It's even true that there are biblical teachers who explain the gospel accurately and help you come to Christ, but they aren't teaching another part of Christian living in an accurate way. And thus, when you follow that part of their teaching, you're going to be blocking God's blessing because you're following inaccurate teaching about a life principle. All that to say, as Christians, we must never mindlessly follow a teacher, even if that teacher has benefited us in the past. Number three, they're committing a sin they don't even know about. Sadly, I've talked to a handful of people that were living in sexual sin and didn't even know that it was sexual sin. They had never been told this was something that displeased God. While that's certainly sad that no one took the time to properly explain the scriptures to these people, ultimately, we have to remember that it's our personal responsibility to read the scriptures and know what they say, know what's commended, what God wants us to do, and know what's forbidden, what God doesn't want us to do. Pray that the Holy Spirit opens your eyes to anything that you might be blinded to that's blocking God's blessings in your life as Psalm 19 verses 12 and 13 state. But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. Number four, they're imbalanced about speaking words of truth and speaking words of love. In Ephesians 4:15. We're told to speak the truth in love, and it's really easy to err on one of those sides. Sometimes we just try to be loving, and then we don't tell the whole truth because we're afraid it might hurt someone's feelings. On the other hand, sometimes we get so focused on making people understand the truth that we lose love in the process and we're just beating them over the head with this truth. Either way, when you don't have the right balance, you're missing out on the blessing of healthy relationships and healthy communication that stems from being biblically balanced in speaking the truth in love. Number five, they only love people through niceness. It can actually be unkind to be overly nice in certain situations. For example, sometimes someone needs to be lovingly disciplined, which isn't nice all the time. And sometimes people need to be lovingly rebuked 
or they need to be boldly encouraged in a way that isn't just nice and coddling them. When you only show niceness to people, you're missing out on the bigger blessing you could have by being a bigger blessing to people who need something more than niceness. Number six, they think that love means being misused. For example, if you grew up in a household where parents were yelling a lot and it was just a very stressful environment, you can grow up to be an adult and feel like relationships that are filled with love are only the ones that are intense and full of emotion and a lot of yelling and screaming because that's what you were raised with. Or maybe you had a really selfish parent that made you serve them as the child and now you have this warped version of selfish love that's not biblically accurate. If you have a warped version of love in your mind, this is going to block a blessing in your life because when we have balanced, healthy relationships that are selfless on both sides, that's a huge blessing. Number seven, they are expecting promises that God never promised. It's absolutely essential as Christians that we do really rely on and put our hope in the promises of God. But the only promises that we know for sure are from God are the ones that are listed in scripture. So while the Bible does tell us that God can bring a spouse, can bring more wealth, can bring healing to our bodies, the Bible does not promise that every single person will have a spouse, will be rich on this earth, will have a perfect body that's never sick. But when it comes to spiritual blessings and eternal blessings in Christ, the Bible does promise that all Christians will receive these in full. And number eight, they miss the main message of the Bible. While the Bible does certainly give us amazing principles about life and just thriving, ultimately, scripture points us to Jesus Christ first and foremost, to the person and work of Jesus. And if you miss Jesus in scripture and it turns into this book of tips and techniques and you're not having that rich relationship with Christ through the salvation that he alone can offer, then you're going to be missing the biggest blessing of all. A 2 Corinthians 1, 19 through 20 explains, For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, whom we proclaimed among you, was not yes and no, but in him it is always yes. For all the promises of God find their yes in him. That is why it is through him that we utter our amen to God for his glory. AGW University is not for everyone. If you're married or you're already in a dating relationship, these courses aren't gonna benefit you because I designed them specifically for Christian adults who just been struggling for a while to get into a godly relationship, to know what the Bible really says about relationships and what you should do and what you shouldn't do. And if for some reason you enroll in these courses and you don't like them and you feel like they really didn't help you, I offer a 30 day money back guarantee, no questions asked. I'm confident you will really enjoy these courses, but again, if for some reason you don't, you can always ask for a refund. Here's what one AGW University alumni recently shared in our private Facebook group. Just wanted to say thank you, a huge thank you to Mark and all of you, to the ones who told me to go on Upward, the online dating platform, the ones who encouraged me when I felt lonely, insecure, and burdened from the weight of closed doors after closed door, heartbreak after heartbreak, thank you for your kind words. I got married to my husband on May 14th, 2022. We just got back from our honeymoon early this morning. Now, I'm certainly not trying to guarantee that you're gonna have results like this student had, but I am guaranteeing that if you're single and you're ready to put in hard work and you wanna learn what the Bible says, then these courses are going to greatly benefit you. Lastly, if you enroll before the May 29th deadline, I'm also giving you three months of bonus email coaching with me. That's where you can share your personal story with me and I can help you apply this content to your life in the specific way you need. And I'm also offering the biggest scholarship I've ever offered if you enroll before the May 29th deadline. 
So I'll see you over at AGW University. Just click the link in the description of this video.